Today, I shall be talking about a common catfish disease known as crackhead disease. In this video, you shall learn how to diagnose crackhead disease, causes and possible treatment of crackhead diseases in catfish. Please subscribe to this channel for more useful tips. Let's get started. How to Diagnose Crackhead Disease in Catfish Crackhead is not a common disease in juvenile and other smaller catfish. It can be treated if discovered earlier especially in small table size catfish. Farmers should suspect crackhead in their stock if there is a sharp slash sudden drop in feed consumption. There are frequent mortalities of two or more before sudden drop in feed consumption. The joints on the head of a fish mortality easily parts as soon as you touch it. You notice blood stains on the heads of some of your live catfishes. Feed consumption reduces to less than 20% of the previous feed record, followed by increased number of mortality at the secondary stage. Little stress triggers much mortality, and at the stage of losing so much catfishes through crackhead induced mortality mortality, treatments might be less effective. Here are some of the causes of crackhead disease in catfish. We cannot completely rule out the possibility of crackhead disease being a genetic and hereditary related problem. The fact remains that well-bred catfish may not develop this deficiency related disease. I wish to challenge scholars in the field of aquaculture to take up more research on this topic. Without any doubt. Almost everyone in aquaculture slash catfish farming believes that crackhead disease is caused by either lack of certain nutrients or inability of catfish to make use of these nutrients in the feed. It has been observed that vitamin C in catfish feed plays an important role in enhancing the ability of catfish body system to absorb vital micronutrients that support bone health and formation. Crackhead disease has also been linked with excess use of blood slash feather meal in catfish feed to replace fish meal. In reality, blood meal and feather meal are rich in protein but lack some vital amino acids required for balanced growth of catfish. As high as protein in blood and feather meals are, they must be used with caution. The inclusive rate should not be more than 5 and 10% respectively to avoid possibility of crackhead disease. It can also be caused by other diseases that are not treated on time. Also both locally pelleted sinking and floating feeds have shelf value after which the validity of essential nutrient in such feed is no longer guaranteed. The use of any expired feed might cause this disease. Recently, I discovered that poor drying process can cause locally pelletized feed to lose its essential nutrient whereby catfishes that feed on them are exposed to such disease as crackhead. Of course, I can't forget to share with you the way out. Here are some of the treatments of crackhead disease in catfish. Early discovery of this disease is a key factor in the treatment process. Immediately stop any suspected feed that could cause this disease. Fortify your feed with vitamin C and other amino acids for quick recovery. Treat any disease that could be primary cause of this disease. Get some drugs specifically formulated for this particular disease from a vet store around you. For additional treatments, kindly consult an expert. I hope you derived value watching this presentation. Please subscribe and stay safe.